I started crying leaving school today, so that says a lot about the situation. I'm in so much pain. Um, good morning, everyone. Today is the first day of school for me. I woke up today at 6. Even though I was supposed to wake up at 8, but I've been so nervous lately, and I can't sleep. Like, I literally cannot sleep. But school starts today at 1. That's pretty nice. I have a lot of time now in the morning to do literally whatever. So if you haven't figured that out yet, I'm going to the gym. Okay, so I just came back from the gym and I took a shower and I also washed my face in the shower and did my little skincare routine. I kind of have a new routine since I posted in my video about like what I do. <laughs> I got so many hate comments. So yeah, I kind of have a new skincare routine right now. So I use this cleanser in the shower and then I use this toner that I got yesterday because I got a facial yesterday and she like recommended me a bunch of products. And then I put on some of this caffeine solution and then I apply this thing. It's like for your pores, I think. And then moisturizer and that was basically it so we're gonna do our makeup now and now we have gotten to successfully might i add to the get ready with me portion of the video so today is my first day of school and i start school at three today no just kidding why do i think that i start school at one today we have like a two hour little like meet and greet <laughs> with the class <laughs> we have like a two hour hangout session. So by the end of last semester, our principal told us that by the fall, everything's going to be back to normal and we're going to be able to come back to school. So I got so excited and I've been looking forward to this all summer. And then a week before the first day of school, they're like, we're going to do every other day online. And like, okay. And I mean, I get it obviously, but why did he even have to tell us in the first place that we were going to come back? Like the Corona situation was worse in the spring than it is now. So yeah, but whatever, we're going to do every other day online. And then next week I'm going to be in school Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then you just switch like that. So, I mean, it's not bad. I definitely am really grateful that we're able to be in school at least some days out of the week but i'm just like i don't know it's like kind of nice though because i've been like excited for school all summer and now when it's finally here i like don't want to go so you know it's usually like that so i'm kind of happy that i get to spend time at home but the reason why i wanted to come back so bad and why it made me so sad is because i ever since i came back from oregon since i moved back from oregon i have i have struggled with like my relationships i don't know i just feel like I'm sweating. It's just like weird because I stopped being friends with my old friends. If you watch my vlog channel, um, those are the ones that you used to see in all of my vlogs. I'm not friends with them anymore and I would like to be friends with them, but I don't know. It's just like weird. It like ended in a weird way, so we're not going to talk about it. But yeah, and then I got new friends and then we like stopped being friends. So the reason why I wanted to come back so bad was because I wanted to make new friends in school. And then I found out that we were not going to be in school every single day and it literally broke my heart because that was like my only plan to like make new friends because I've been like kind of lonely this summer. Not really because I kind of like became friends again with my old old friends from like middle school that live in my town. So it's not like I was lonely and so I kind of felt like starting school again was like my only way to get new friends. But anyways, I'm like over that. I don't really care anymore. It is what it is and i'm like happy now that we're gonna do a little bit online this is only for like august and september and then we're gonna see what everything is looking like in like october and then maybe we'll be full on back in school my sister started high school today or a couple of days ago and she's in my school too she goes to my school you get to choose what high school you go to as she likes it and she is in school every single day but the second and third graders are in school only half of the time Okay, so now I have my base ready. I put on bronzer, blush, highlighter, and liquid highlighter. I Everything's from Too Faced. 
No, why am I sweating? I'm gonna have to change just one second. Okay, so we're back. I, as you know, I've been talking about this a lot and it's actually kind of nice because I never used to talk about this and now I get to talk to all of you guys about it and it kind of makes me feel better because I know that I'm not the only one, but basically I have like intense sweating problems. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's like really, really weird. I don't want to talk about it. This girl reached out to me over DM on Instagram. By the way, follow me on Instagram if you aren't following me, haha. <laughs> yeah, she DM'd me and she was like, there is this drug that you can take and your sweat will go away. <laughs> Ew. And I was like, oh my god, tell me more. So basically, I called the doctor because you can call doctors on an app here. So I called the doctor and he was like, oh my god, you have hyperdridosis, whatever it's called. And I was like, mm -hmm, yeah. So now I'm prescribed a drug for me to stop sweating. The only side effects are that you can get diarrhea, headaches, constipation, but you know, and right now I'm doing my brows as you can see, ew. Um, and I already dyed them a couple days ago and they turned out fine. They just like turned out kind of like grayish, but that's okay. I don't know. I think it's because I've been like tanning a lot recently i literally discovered tanning the last week of summer break my eyebrows like got bleached by the sun and so did my eyelashes so i was like in pain i <laughs> i wasn't but like i was in emotional pain no i wasn't either so i basically dyed my eyebrows and eyelashes and it was so scary because i got the dye in my eye and it started like foaming <laughs> Isn't that like so bad? Okay, so it's dye made for your eyelashes. So if you do get it in your eye, it's not like you're gonna die. But I literally thought I was going blind because it started foaming. Like my eye started foaming and it came like foam came out of my eye. And I was like, uh-oh, that's not good. But then everything's fine. I do think I need glasses though, but <laughs> not because of that. I really think I need glasses when I drive at night because I cannot see shit. I literally can't see anything and it's really bad and it's really dangerous. Yeah, I just don't really, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't want to get glasses please in the comments say one person you know that gets sweaty legs from doing their makeup because i don't know a single person so for my eye makeup i'm just gonna do what i always do which is like a pinkish peachy base color white in the inner corner and then this glittery basically all over and then i do this the same color i use for my eyebrows i do in my crease it's this espresso from Too faced natural matte palette i have been using this color for years it's literally a color made by god it's so pretty so i basically just do that and i'm gonna blend it out a little it's kind of like it's not a smoky eye definitely not but it kind of like make my eyes look bigger when i do it in a way like it gives it more depth and definition can you see a difference? What if it made my eye look smaller? I kind of like get that feeling now. Okay, let's talk about what we're excited about for senior year. It is finally my senior year. When I first said that it was my senior year in like a video, I can't remember which video it was. So many people were like, how is she still in high school? Isn't she like 20? And okay, the reason why I am still in high school is because in Sweden, you graduate when you're 19 years old. So we have one extra year than the US. So basically all of my friends graduated this spring so in june or the summer in june 2020 but i had the great idea of going on an exchange year and since we don't have like the same syllabus or schedule and the classes are all weird and basically all i did in america was watch movies and paint during my classes i totally get why it didn't count as a full year so basically if you go on an exchange year and you're swedish you have to redo that whole year here in sweden so basically i'm going to be graduating with the class under me so um everyone that i'm with right now are a year younger than me that is why i have like an extra year and that's why i'm going to be 20 when i graduate but it's not weird because everyone else is going to be 19 or turn 19 that year so it's not like weird but it's like a little inconvenient <laughs> i wouldn't say it's like my favorite thing about my life but it's okay because i also got to skip the corona graduation i am now applying a little tiny bit of glittery glitter in my my inner corner i usually don't do this a lot actually i do it every day so i don't know what i'm talking about next up and lastly mascara this is the better than sex from Too faced i've been using this for years and years and years and the reason why i have kind of long eyelashes i don't really anymore though is because i use an eyelash serum but i think i'm gonna switch so i'm using this one called nano lash it's literally a gift by god but 
Okay, my dad ruined my setup. We're not gonna talk about it. What was I talking about before? Things I'm excited for for senior year. So we have all the parties, graduation, obviously, um, new friends, some new classes. Okay, that's basically all. Oh my god. Okay, I have to say bye. I'm getting really angry. <laughs> I'm getting really angry at my eyelashes. I'm gonna say bye. See you guys later. So here we have my outfit. We don't really need to bring anything for the first day. So I just have my tiny little purse from Brandy Melville. And then I have my little cardigan also from Brandy Melville. And then this black crop top, crop t-shirt kind of thing is from Princess Polly. As well as my anklet. And then my pants are from Naked. There we have it. Also that trash bag is going to the recycling. Um... I'm just too lazy to put it there. Lastly, I'm gonna be straightening my hair, but I have to wait for it to dry. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So it is now 11.30 and I need to leave at 11.50, but I cannot decide if I should straighten my hair or not. Like that was my original plan, but I don't know if I want to, cause like sometimes I really don't like how I look with straight hair and sometimes I do love it. So I cannot decide, but like I'm not gonna have many days when I'm at school when I'm gonna have straight hair, cause I'm not gonna have time in the mornings. So should I just do it? Okay, yeah, we're gonna do it. Okay, so I used to like put my hair up and straighten the different layers of my hair, but recently I've just been too lazy, so I just do it all in one go. And the only thing bad about this is that you might miss some pieces, but we're gonna do it anyways. I'm scared, I don't know why. I also feel like I have diarrhea. I haven't been at school since March, and it's scary. See how fast that was? It took me 30 seconds. Okay, so that was half of my hair. See the difference? I love it. Now I'm gonna check and see if everything is completely straight. And I would say it is. This is back. And we're done. I'm in my dad's car because he's not home. And I get to use his car. <laughs> I am a little nervous. We'll see what happens. And let's go. Okay, I am home and uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I got today or one of the things that I got I got myself a new little necklace I've been looking for a necklace like this for like a month now because this one is literally brown. It's not cute This one's from brandy and yeah, it turns brown kind of fast. So I don't really like it I have the worst headache. I'm so hungry and I'm just not in a good mood. But anyways, I got a new one it's basically just like a little round thing it doesn't have anything on it it's so pretty so yeah i'm super excited about this it was about 60 dollars. so now i'm gonna talk about my day um i mean i i had a really good day at first it was just like it was fun it was fun meeting some of my friends again and the people that i saw today they were like fine i have nothing bad to say about them overall i would give this day like a five out of ten because i got really really sad by the end of the day and that's obviously my fault no one like did anything i don't know if i want to talk about this because i feel like maybe some people are going to be watching that this concerns but basically like i don't know i just feel very uncomfortable and like i started crying leaving school today so that says a lot about the situation i don't know maybe i was being over dramatic but i'm just like i'm just really sad about the certain thing Thing that I can't talk about because I'm scared because I don't want to I don't want anyone to bring it up in person I don't know. It's just like not ideal. But anyways, that was my day. Ew I have to redo this whole thing. I need to go to the recycling place This is bothering me and in all of my pictures and videos now I'm gonna make vegan tacos and I'm gonna watch a movie and I might even shower because I've been sweating so much today it's so disgusting i can't wait to get my medicine i'm like a little emo but i'm not gonna let that ruin my day i i have a day off tomorrow i don't have school because we only have two classes and those classes don't start until next week so we don't have school tomorrow so i'm gonna do something fun with my friends i guess i'll see you guys in my next video please let me know down below in the comments if you had a good first day of school i would love to know hopefully your day was a little bit better than my day was <laughs> it wasn't bad or anything it was just like i was like so excited at one point and then this thing happened i was just like oh no so we're not going to talk about that and i don't want anyone to say anything about it to me in real life so please don't talk about it okay yeah
<clears throat> me just pausing mid-sentence taking thumbnail pictures please follow me on instagram if you aren't following me already i took some pictures today with my mom that i'm gonna post on instagram if they turned out cute i'm gonna look at them right now and i'll see all of you guys in my next video goodbye wish you all the best hopefully you're having a great day and a great first day of school and yeah i'm okay <laughs> i love you bye